Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on October 2024's Monday series. This is video number one which means it is a sketch card. So if you are new to my channel welcome. If you are returning of course welcome welcome. And just some little information for you. So every month I concentrate on a stamp set sweet or bundle and on the rare occasion I bring in two and this is that rare occasion because these two belong together I can't believe I've actually done it twice this year so I'm going to move my whiteboard that's just for my purposes so when I go to load up a video that I can see what it is I'm uploading because sometimes I'll make one or two videos a day and then it's like oh no which one is which so let me show you so this month we are really concentrating on in the grove bundle now this was a gift from the wonderful miss Lori, and um it has a counterpart that is called grassy grove yes look at that aren't they gorgeous together look yes so we're going to use them together so in the grove has no sentiment though look there is a space right there for a sentiment a hello <laughs> Maybe a hello belongs right there. So this one, we are going to use thank you from the Grassy Grove. And this um, card we're going to make is going to be, I think, rather simple. But I'm going to do a twist. Of course I am. I can't help myself. So we're going to be using this die and the little bunny die um, from the stamp and the trees. I mean the, the mountains, and we'll probably stamp the mountains as well on the inside. Um, <clears throat> let me show you. I'm trying to use sketches from the catalog on page 22. So there were two that I looked at and I thought I could use those. So the first one was this one here, right? And hopefully, I gotta see if you guys can see it, this one here. And then there was this one here, because I needed something big. But when I was looking at what I see with these is I don't see them facing this way. I see them going this way. And then you get a whole different perspective, or at least I do in this. And the perspective I chose is not this one, but this one. Okay. Um, we're going to make this um, little banner might be a little bit smaller. And my card is going to be a little bit larger to accompany what I want to do. But remember, a sketch is not written in stone. A sketch is there to inspire you to create. It is there as an idea, a starting place for you um, to help you get those creative juices flowing. So when I do a sketch card, I like to try to see, see things a little differently. And for me, I liked this here, but the piece of DSP that I wanted to use, I've got to show you this. So this is from the One Horse Open Sleigh from last year, right? And when I was going through some DSP for something or other here recently, I thought, oh my goodness, this will go within the Grove. Okay, so I saw this, I saw this, and I said, this needs mountains right here. I'm like, that's what this needs. It needs the mountains in the background, and this would make just a beautiful, beautiful card. So that's what we're going to do. I <clears throat> am going to fussy cut along here. I've already die cut my mountains. Look at that. It's going to be gorgeous. I think I might have to actually die cut a second because I want to use the whole thing. We're going to need uh, another set of mountains, so I might just have to do it on camera. I'm going to have to grab the little mini machine. I want to say mini me is what I want to say. Here's my little bunny rabbit. It's just going to be a little something on there, so we'll have to do it again, but here it is. So I, I, I pulled this out. I don't have but probably like five little pieces of the one horse open sleigh. And I wrote down use for in the grove, cut across the die cut in the mountains, then reapply the skyline for a simple card. Then when I went to start making my videos for October, it was like, okay, can I use this for the sketch? And then I had to start looking at the sketches and I thought, 
I can. I can do this. I can do this. And we're going to make our little, because ours is going to go this way. This is where our little thank you is going to go right there. So now that I said that, let me grab my little mini, my little mini me machine, right? Because we're going to need it. And um, it'd been great if this wasn't a night and navy. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. I mean, no, that still won't work. I wonder if I can do it this way. It would have been perfect if it wasn't in night and navy. Yeah, that was the first time round. I am I make mistakes. So second time round is gonna be a charm, right? That that's gonna do it. So well have to set that aside because we have to stamp. I still have the stamp on the block. No need for a stamp in Pierce Matte because these are uh, red rubber stamps. Just need to ink it up. Well, you guys just get a chance for me to show you how I colored it in, yes, with a blender pen. Just scribble, scribble. So there we go. Now I took my blender pen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the ink out. This is before I'm going to die cut it. I'm just going to make that snow a little less so it blends in a little more. Oh, isn't this just so technical? <laughs> Scribble that blender pen everywhere. All over it, hopefully. And let's see. Let's put it through the mini machine. I don't have... I'm almost done with this. I don't know where the piece of tape is that was on it at one time. And yes, the die does go through the mini machine. Okay. And this will have to get cut in half. We'll have half at one end and half at the other. So, just offset those plates. And I gotta turn it around. I'm right handed. It might help if we go like this. Right? Might make it easier on me. There we go. Try not to make them snap little TTs out here and you snap those things shut and oh, she gets spooked. So there we have it. It's a little kind of wet because of the blender pen. But, so now we have two. We still have, I might be using that for our tag. Let's set that aside. So my card base. Now my card base is going to be larger than normal. Only because this is a pre-made card base that Lori sent me. As well as this, the bundle in the grow. So this is four and a half by six and a quarter. So it is six and a quarter by nine. Scored at four and a half. All of the measurements will be in the description part of the video. Now... I still hadn't decided on this. So first thing I want to do is cut my DSP to where I want it. Because I really think I'm going to layer this I hadn't decided yet on. That's not wide enough. I was hoping I had a piece of um, misty moonlight to layer up behind here. Do I just want to... Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to make it. Where's my... I had a piece of paper for notes. So, <clears throat> if my card base is four and a half by six and a quarter, layer number one will be four and a quarter by six. That means my DSP will be four by five and three quarters. 
So that's what my DSP, that's what this piece is going to be. I was going to do it. Let me show you why I was trying to, to do it more like. Okay. So this, you can see that there's more space at the bottom than there is at the top. We're just going to even it out. Um, like I said, this is just a guideline. This is our inspiration. Um, once I cut it, I can make it like that, but I think proportionally it'll look better this way. I just think it's going to look better this way. So we need the guillotine. No, we can't use the guillotine. Piece of paper, where'd you go? So layer number one is by six. By four and a quarter. We will look at it. And we'll make adjustments as we go. I am going to need a new... I need to either find my little package of blades or I'm going to need to order blades. One of the two. That's why I don't use this a whole lot. Alright, so let's take a look. I mean, I can do it. So, we can cut it down further. So we need... We need about that much. I'm looking at the picture. Give me a second. I have the right amount on the sides. I need to take, let's take a half an inch off. We're just going to go for it, right? Can't hurt to just go for it. All right. We're going to need a quarter of an inch off the sides. And then I think we're going to have more to the picture. I'm trying to be true. So let's do a quarter of an inch. And take a look. And hopefully you guys are going to agree with me. It might help if I have the top of the card. Yes, this will do. So let me show you this and then show you our picture of what we're going for. <clears throat> So this is what we're going for. We have about equal sides here and here. We have a smaller space at the top and more space at the bottom. So I think we got it. I don't want to put as much space at the bottom, but there. Do you see that? So we have more space here and a little bit of space here. That is their sketch. That's what we're going for. So now that we have that done, Let's measure it. Let's measure what we have for layer number one. Oh, it's going to, of course, be... That cannot be right. That cannot be... Let's put it on here. Either that ruler is wrong or my ruler is wrong. Let's see, what is this? No, nope, we're going to have to clean that up. To an eight. Okay, we got to clean that up because that, I'm not doing the eighths right now. So we have at, why is that like five and five eighths? <clears throat> Let's fold it in half and start again. So layer number one. Five and five eighths. That's what it's by. And then this way, there goes the scoring blade completely. Is it three and three quarters? Is it three and three quarters? I usually don't like to write it like that. So the DSP then needs to be at three and a half by five and three eighths. Sorry, guys. If I don't pick this up now, it might be lost forever. And we don't want that. <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want this 
because you see we have to have the mountains right and we want some of the sky so I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna kind of mark on the back where I'm gonna cut So we're going to take half an inch, it looks like, off the bottom. And of course I lost my other mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I have it right here. So now that I got one side, we want to cut it at three and a half. And I want to look at it. So this is three and a half. And where's my mountain range? That's going to leave me. Nope. We're going to take another quarter of an inch off of the bottom. It just needs to come off more off the bottom. So sometimes you just have to work with trimming it down so three and a half because it's three and a quarter all right three and a half this piece here guys we are going to be using this for that little part of the banner to stamp on now Now we're going to cut it apart because I want these little bits of the trees in here. So I am going to cut that was Mr. Hank coming in and he's gone again. He saw that I was recording and he's like, okay, I'm gone. All right, we are just fussy cutting this apart. Like I said, this is one horse open sleigh, but any scenic DSP that has something that you can stamp the mountains into, you can do this with. This has the skyline, um, a sunset, something like that. You can do this. We are going to be putting this back on here We might have to piece this behind it. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I should have cut those trees completely off. Now I'm going to worry. This is the only piece I have. We're going to see what we can do. Oh no, the mountains. The mountain range we covered. I'm starting to panic there. Sometimes my mind runs away with me. And I start to second guess myself. But the mountain range should cover everything but this tall one. See that? It's going to cover all of those trees. But it's not going to cover unless I put this taller bit down there. That's what it's going to do. That's how we're going to do it. Okay? Because otherwise this will get... Mm -mm. Nope. It won't work. Unless I put the taller portion of the mountains down here by this tree. This little tree here almost ruined it for everybody. I hear Hank down there. Papa? 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 <laughs> All right. So we have our skyline that we cut apart, right? And we have our mountain range, which there's one. You see how we're, it's going to go because we're going to cut this off. 
plus we're going to have it in this one. Actually, that won't. No, we're going to have to cover up that because we want to put our skyline back on our paper. So do I want, I just have to figure out, and then I can bring those other, this end, we're going to piece it back here. All right. First things first is to decide. Let's get this one in play. So if I put this one here, then this one, yes. So let's glue this one in place. Oh, actually, let's just add the glue to this piece like this. It just needs to go over to the side to get it started. Oh, TT, you are snoring up a storm, honey. Then we're going to snip this end off. And I can tack the rest of the mountains in there. Now this is going to go down here in a minute. Or maybe it won't, it doesn't even need to. Look at that. Though we could if we really wanted to use more of it. Do I like that? Make it look like we have another peak up there? Or do we leave it open? <coughs> I don't know. Let's put this here. Do we add the extra peak? I think we add the extra peak. We're going to cut the slope off. And we're going to tuck this peak right there. Off gets to me. Oh my goodness. And I think I am going to pop this up on dimensionals. I think it's just going to add to it. So this, oh no, now we got to trim this down. All of that work to get it edge to edge. And I forgot that it needs to come down to that size to five and three eighths. Just my luck. Just my luck. I forgot to trim it the other way. All right, here we go. Five and three eighths is here. So we're gonna take it here and then Now, hopefully, I have my little border, and I do. I better not have to take off that tree that I just did all this work for. That would not make me happy. Because <clears throat> we're going to have to go and trim down the other one as well. But you guys get to see how I, this is how I figure stuff out. There's trial and error in it. And then this, I'm thinking that maybe, because this is going to be up on dimensionals, I'm wondering if we should make this come up in here so you don't see that. I if I can scoot that up. 
have it double layered. I like that idea. <coughs> Though I originally wanted to use some of that for that little tag. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm so sorry. I don't know if a sip is going to help this. Mm -mm. See, I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. I guess it ain't, is not going to matter. So let's trim this down to five and three eighths. So we're going to take off five and three eighths is here. So we'll take it off to there. Turn it to the side. Oh, that's going to be really close. We might need to take more off of this end. <clears throat> that's a little better. have to trim it down just a hair. This has got to come down a little bit more. Like an eighth of an inch, which will be okay for the design of the card. Just remember, we cut it apart, and I don't think... See, if I put it on dimensionals, let me show you what I'm dealing with. So, <clears throat> if I put it on dimensionals right here, I want to make sure this is well there. But right there is where the edge is. I'm just not seeing. That's really close. I'm just getting a little bit of this there, and I don't like it. So we're going to take it down again. I just... It's going to get closer and closer to the picture in the catalog. The sketch. Yes, that's going to do it. So, dimensional time. <coughs> And I really think these strips are going to come in handy. Number one, I'm going to stick it down that whole tree there. And then I'm going to stick it down the side. I don't want my little trees like to get lost so they need a little help because they're just DSP they're just little pieces of paper <coughs> really thin little pieces of paper Am I overdoing it? I don't think so. I just think it needs the support. <clears throat> it is only DSP. And I think it can use all the support it can get. It's a pain, yes, to get all the backings off, but it's going to be okay.
Oh, my husband's listening to one of my favorite songs down there. Not one of the normal songs I listen to, but one of my favorite songs of my daughter's. <clears throat> my daughter's style of music and mine do not always mix. I am a country music fan to the core, okay? You give me some Vern Gosden, some Merle Haggard, and yeah. That's what I grew up on, right? Some Dolly Parton, some Tammy Wynette. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Don Williams. That, that's my kind of music. <laughs> uh, my husband. Rocker. Totally. Def Leppard, Poison, Tesla. You name it. <coughs> my kids listen to everything in between. And, and then some. And they listen to all of it. Which is great. Because they have an appreciation, I think, for music and all genres. My son even has an appreciation for classical music, which I do like that as well. But um, he can hear a piece of classical m music and tell you uh, the artist. So. Oh, look at that scene. Look at that. Yes. Mm. Just love it. That is a beautiful winter scene. So where's my card base? And we're going to do a check now, right? Because see, even now, we have more at the bottom that's missing. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 you didn't. And I bet it did. We have to straighten this little piece out. Please, 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 please. Sorry, but that got really wonky. We cannot let that be. <clears throat> This card is too pretty for it to go that wonky. Too pretty to go that wonky. Mm -mm. No, no, no. So our check, let's check. Okay, remember we're doing it this way. So here we are. We have more at the bottom, less at the top, equal distance on the sides. And we do, but now we need a little... I almost don't want to put the little banner, but we're going to. We're going to do the little banner. What if we did a little white banner and just stuck the little rabbit? What, you know what? <clears throat> if we flipped it on its side, why not we flip it down here and do the banner down here? We can do that, right? We can do the banner upside down here because here it's going to take away from our scene. Yes. So instead of it being up top, we're going to flip it to the bottom. That's That will solve the problem. So now we need a scrap piece of Misty Moonlight. And where's the thank you? We need a fat, chunky little banner is what we need. <laughs> we need a fat, chunky little banner. So all we need is a little piece of this. Um, thank you is one and a quarter inches. So, <clears throat> one and a quarter. I'm going to hold this up here. That's too big. could actually do it on that side. We're going to st stamp it and then cut it. And I'm still looking for a back piece to it. Here's a little bit. Which I think that will do nicely. So let's stamp it in Misty Moonlight. Though we do have a... <clears throat> I just thought maybe we'll stick that little bunny. I don't like him up there. We'll stick him on the card though. Okay, thank you. And then we need to flag him, make him a banner. All right. 
We're going to trim him down even more, though. I'm going to make him a little skinnier because he's a fat, chunky little thank you. We're going to give him a little trim. I would almost say we're going to give him a little liposuction, but that's not true. We're going to give him a little tuck, nip tuck here. And then, so one and a half. I need to write this down so I have the measurements. So I have, <clears throat> what is it, is it now? So it's one and an eighth by one and a half. Tag. One and one eighth by one and one half. And this is simple. All you do is cut it in the center, right? And then corner to center and corner to center. And try not to cut your finger because sometimes I do cut my finger. There's our little flag. <coughs> Now we need a little piece. See, we just need that much. So it's one eighth. So it's one and one eighth. We're going to do one and a quarter. And I'm still debating, do I think I want to go around the edges with some sponging? And I'm kind of thinking I do because it'll give it that little, you know, <clears throat> snowy, misty little look. So we're going to cut to the center. Oops, that did not do well. Let's see that. just put our bunny rabbit right here in the front of the card. Oh, so darling. So, so darling. Yeah, our card needs a little something. And I'm wondering, it has this little bit. I'm thinking we're going to stamp that down here at the bottom. We're going to sponge. We are, but I'm thinking we're going to add that in Misty Moonlight as well. So we need, nope, that's Cherry Cobbler and Old Olive. <coughs> Misty Moonlight. I really do want to stamp that mountain range, I think, on the inside of the card. I am going to leave the card blank inside. Because <clears throat> I'm not sure yet what I want to put inside of it. But now I'm going to come back over it. I'm going to add more. ink coloring to the paper and this is almost like straight on this is not really at a 45 degree angle I'm really trying to get I'm just going to breathe on it some more try to activate some more of the ink and it really does help having the support of your hands behind it haven't re-inked it yet guys I'm just breathing on it hot breath <clears throat> give 
it that little bit of a frosty look. Look, oh, 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 oh yes. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we're going to stamp this. Why are we going to do that? Because we can and I want to stamp. I want to stamp, stamp, stamp. I should not stamp on this. This is a paper pumpkin thing. I need that. Um, let's see this. Yeah, I almost thought, oh no, I'll just make another copy. But no, 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 no. So let's test this. <clears throat> I just want to look at it. I do. So we are going to go here. Now let's take a look. Oh yeah, now we just need to add that second. Bit. You know, maybe we just stamp this on the inside. <clears throat> or do we just do the mountain range? We just stamp like, yeah, we're going to do the mountain range on the inside. That's what I want to do. We're going to stamp the mountains there. And then mountains there. Look how pretty that is. You can't tell me that doesn't look pretty. That looks so pretty. Okay, we can get this glued together. Yeah, I just get too excited about what I, oh, just. Too, too, too much. And we are going to wink a Stella. We might just speckle the wink a Stella on here. <clears throat> so we have to get it and we actually did it. I personally would have made it <clears throat> more this way. to go with the mountain range and I really almost am thinking I have some I think we're gonna do that <laughs> do you, yeah I do want to don't I I do so we're gonna restamp um, thank you I, I think this is gonna look better it may not but I, I, I think it might we're just gonna flag it a different way so same basic measurements. We're just looking to um, either that or we do a square. But I was thinking we do a peak. Like, the only thing with that is I would have to. <coughs> Come down here, take a point, put your pencil, make a mark, right? This pencil doesn't want to, there's my mark. Hopefully everybody can see that, right? Okay. And then I'm going to come this way. I'm going to use, this is a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, three quarters of an inch. Let me get this on the line. So one, two, three, three quarters of an inch. I'm going to make a mark there and a mark there. <clears throat> now I'm going to go from this point to there and from here to that point. And it's still not straight and I don't know how come I couldn't. So let's make it square. It didn't work. I don't know why that did not work probably because I didn't have it straight so we'll just make it straight probably it'll look better anyways and then we're going to glue it down oh it's gonna look better it's gonna look better those V that V banner mm -mm. The mountains are going this way and the flag is going that way. That's what's bugging me. If you guys are wondering, what is it that, that is bugging her so much? 
that's it. <clears throat> that's what is bugging me. So. Now we just made a little box. And where's my little bunny? Now I lost Mr. Bunny. So now I can actually put this here. I could actually put my little bunny like right there. I do like that. Now I love it. Now I'm okay with it. So we just had to change it up a little bit, right? I still, I think we're going to put it over here, just like they had it. They had their flag, but over here, we'll put our square, <laughs> not flag. We put our square, our rectangle, because it's perfect. It's not perfectly square. And our little bunny is going to go right down here in the corner. And thank you guys for hanging with me. This this is how I come up. This is what it takes to come up with the project. This is it. So let's go ahead and we're going to stamp. Oh, that is too, 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 too pretty. So you want to like wink a Stella. Just everything that glistens, right? In the sun when it hits the snow. You know, it just makes it all sparkly and gorgeous. It's cold out there. Do I like to go out in the cold? No. Mm -mm. No, I want to sit by a roasting toasty little fire. Do I like to look at it? Oh, yeah. Do I ski? No. Mm -mm. No. I don't know if I told you guys about my, my skiing experience with my, my, my hubby there. The Mr. O. <clears throat> I can teach you how to ski. Yeah. I taught people how to ski. I was a ski instructor. Mm -hmm. No, he can't teach me how to ski. He taught our son how to ski, but he sure did not teach me how to ski. He put me on skis and I hit that slope and I went straight down the hill. There was no catching me. I was not happy camper. Uh-uh. <laughs> Uh-uh. 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 I was not happy. Hmm. It would be years before I would go back to the mountains with him to go skiing. And even then, I only went because of my daughter. My son and him would go do their black double diamonds. They did all that crazy stuff and come back with pictures of them, you know, jumping off things. And yeah. So there we go. In the grove, which is, oh, just look at that. That is gorgeous, guys. And yes, I know it's a piece, it's a piece of DSP, but there are so many scenic DSP pieces of paper out there that you can re recreate something similar like this that I hope that uh it makes you look at things a little differently. And once again, I'm gonna show you. So this was our sketch, page 22. We flipped it on its side and we took the banner, we turned it into a square and we just changed its position and that's what we came up with. So thanks for watching everybody. I know this went a little bit longer because I had to try things out, but I only had the one piece, just the one piece. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys staying with me for this. Lori, thank you for giving me this opportunity to play with this set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you all uh, enjoy this whole month of me creating with this set because I know I am going to have the best time. Um, so please feel free to comment if you like what I do. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.